about the assassination threat against State Senator Lila Nee. The senator tells us he received an email from the suspect that details exactly how the plot to kill him was going to be carried out. As KPIX 5's Len Ramirez shows us, the search for explosives at the suspect's house is finally wrapping up. Len? That's right, Alan. It is wrapping up. You can see the big truck there ready to uh, take some of that evidence back, uh, presumably to Sacramento, for the investigation to continue. As for those emails that you mentioned, the emails that were allegedly sent from Mr. Basham to Senator Yee's office detailed the when, the where, and the how that these uh, attacks would take place. They also, the sender also apparently bragged about having some sort of training in sniper rifles. Well, perhaps not coincidentally, one of the charges filed against Mr. Basham today by the district attorney's office had to do with the unlawful possession of a very high-powered sniper rifle. Santa Clara bomb plot suspect Everett Basham walked into court making small steps due to the shackles on his ankles, his wrists, and waist. After briefly sitting and correcting the judge on the pronunciation of his name, Basham appeared ready to make a statement and tried to stand. Basham, okay, thank you, sir. You may be seated. A few seconds later, his court-appointed lawyer stepped over to make sure he didn't say anything more. We have charged the defendant with 10 felonies and two misdemeanors. The felonies stem from items found at Basham's home and vehicles, including ready-made bombs, explosive chemicals, and other components, as well as illegal assault rifles, and this, a specialized long-range sniper rifle of 416 caliber Barrett. If convicted on all counts, uh, his maximum time is about 12 years and 8 months. Basham was arrested Tuesday in Sunnyvale after allegedly threatening to kill State Senator Leland Yee. Yee has authored gun control legislation in Sacramento, which Basham opposed. Yes. The California Highway Patrol says Basham was carrying a concealed weapon at the time of his arrest. Then, a search of his residence on Humboldt Avenue turned up a cache of explosives, some of which were detonated on scene, others were driven away in a special containment vessel. For the last four days, investigators have been searching his home, which appears guarded by several professional-grade surveillance cameras. Inside the cluttered rooms, investigators are still looking for more evidence to build their case that the threats were real. When we found destructive devices, uh, more or less it was it was items that were complete in nature um, and more apt to be used uh, without any additional work to be done on them. And as the investigation wraps up here in, Sac uh, in Santa Clara, we can tell you that the prosecutor in charge of this case, the deputy district attorney, was seen walking into the property this afternoon. Apparently she wants to get a good feel for the layout of the house and, and all of the uh, details that she will be using in her case to prosecute this case at a later date. Alan, as for Mr. Basham, he will be back in court next week to enter a plea, and he will also be uh, undergoing a bail hearing. Right now he's being held uh, on a no bail. Uh, uh, subject, and so uh, at next week when he comes back into court, the subject of bail will come up. It certainly will. All right, Lynn Ramirez, thanks so much.